Hi everyone, I wanna do a quick update on my son's reading progress and I wanna share a new um, new program that I bought for him called um, Learn to Read Hooks on Phonics. This is levels seven and eight. This came together and I just got it on Amazon and it's for ages seven to eight, second grade for early fluent readers. This is the last um, highest level program they have. So I assume, and I, I hope that after we finish this, um, he will just be able to read anything. So at this time, he is, he just turned seven and he is struggling with reading. He is struggling a lot. Um, he is partially homeschooled, partially um, at school at a Montessori school, and we just had parent-teacher conferences. And his teacher said that his, his reading is just not getting any better. Um, he reads too fast and he doesn't concentrate on the words. He kind of assumes what the words are without really sounding them out and reading them. So I'm... At first, um, for our at-home work, I got this, this is an old, very old um, curriculum um, for second grade for reading. He, he reads a story, and then there's discussion questions, and it's great, but he wasn't really that into it, and I don't feel like it's been really helping him, and it comes with a lot of work, and a lot of this work is just kind of repetitive, and he gets kind of tired of it. I don't make him do all of it, so... This really wasn't working for us. I'm sure it's great for some kids, but we needed something drastic. We needed something that was just going to just help um, a lot. So one thing I tried as well, um, I tried having him do uh, reading out of Dr. Seuss books out loud. Um, this really builds confidence because this is it rhymes, it's easy to read. And then um, I also have him read to me from uh, a Magic Treehouse chapter book. And he, he reads these on his own all the time, but he doesn't really understand what any of them say. Like if, like he says like, yeah, I just, I sit down and I read it, but I have no idea what I just read. So that's the big problem there is just getting him to slow down and concentrate on the words. So um, this, this also didn't really work. Like he loved just reading this out loud. He totally got it. it was super easy, he felt confident. And then we jumped into this and he'd read like a chapter and then he'd get kind of annoyed and bored and say he'd rather just go off on his own and read and obviously not understand anything. So that's one thing we tried. Um, the other thing we tried, and this has been really, really helpful, um, we he's he loves Diary of the Kids so much. So he's been reading Diary of a Friendly Awesome Kid. And this is great. This is challenging enough for him and he totally gets it. He can understand everything. He can discuss it. So he's been loving this book. And then for writing, um, I, initially I bought him power printing, um, handwriting without tears, and he had a complete meltdown. He absolutely refused to do this. He said, no way. So I'm just going to hold on to this for his sister who loves workbooks, and she's very easy to work with, and she'll just do anything you ask her. Um, so then instead, we got this for, for his birthday, Diary of a Kid Do-It-Yourself book. This, this has finally worked. So... He's actually reading the instructions and he's doing the exercises, well, some of the exercises in the book. And this is the only time I've ever seen him actually read and write um, intentionally. So, you know, I'll, t I'll take what I can get with him. And this has been great. So, so far, so good on this system. Um, and then I've also had him do his own journaling and he really loves this. So after we do the, after we read from diary, diary of an awesome friendly kid and he does a few exercises in the journal, he'll work on his own journal, which he created, he, he called the diary of a smart kid. And then he kind of bases it off on um, um, Jeff Kenny's drawings and he, he created a, a character for each member of his family and then his best friend. And then he... Um, his writing is still needs a lot of work, but he's doing it. He's finally writing intentionally. Um, he's he's not he's enjoying it. He's he enjoying his writing. So I'm so happy that um, he's gotten to this point. Um, but let me show. And then also one more thing that I recently got was this from Lakeshore Learning. This was on clearance, so I grabbed it, and I love this journal so much. <clears throat> so he reads the poem. We talk about. Um, the commas, the periods, explanation marks, what they mean. So he learns kind of to read the poem the way it's supposed to sound with the, um, with, with, uh, what, what he needs to, where he needs to pause, where he needs to stop, where he needs to be excited. 
and he really likes that. And then he does the discussion questions. He, he only did one because I just got this, but he really did enjoy this. He actually enjoys all of the Lakeshore Learning journals. And we have these for math, science, um, anything I can get, um, except for reading comprehension. He did not like the reading comprehension. So let me show you uh, Learn to Read and how the Hooked on Phonics program works. So we just started this. I just got this program last week because I was just desperate. I needed something. Um, it comes with stickers. This, these are completion stickers, which is really great for a kid who isn't very motivated. Um, comes with a DVD. We tried the DVD, and I think we're going to pass on it. Um, he, I don't think we're really going to get anything out of it because he just wanted to jump right to the lesson. So the way that it works is everything is described in detail. You, you watch the DVD if, if that's something you want to do. Um, then you do the first exercise. So... This is, you, you learn the words, you have to be able to read these quickly without um, any problems, the child that is, and then you re read the story. You have to be able to read the story well with no problems. And then if that happens, you get a sticker, which he did, he got the first level. Then you go on, there's uh, lesson two, same thing, read the story. And he just, he really got into this, he really likes this. Um, again, there's lesson three. So after you do lesson four, there's some helper words. You pause for that. And then they tell you to read this book. And I think what I'm going to have him do is just go off and read the book on his own. And then I will discuss it with him. I'm going to do these discussion questions to see that he really understood it. And if he can do that, then I'm fine letting him read on his own. Um, without me looking over his shoulder. Um, but if he can't, then we're going to have to go back to him reading out loud to me. Um, but I'm really hoping this is going to fix a lot of the problems that we're, that he's having in fluently reading. So it, this is a really great structure, and so it just goes lesson by lesson. So then you go lesson five, lesson six, let's see, lesson seven. It's the same thing, very simple, just learn, practice, use and then um some once in a while they'll they'll we'll have some review words and they have the next book then they have the my giant bunny and he really wanted to see how the whole thing worked when i showed it to him he said okay what's the hardest you know show me how this is going to progress he was really interested in this and um i showed like i think i think one of the books is like basically a chapter book. So he got really excited because the first lesson was super easy for him. He had no problem with it. Um, but I think he's going to have a much harder time as this goes on. So this is the first book. And at the end, so lesson 15, they tell you to read, how, how do we get there from here? So you read that. And then you get the final book for the for the unit study, I guess unit three review, and that's um, Smart Shark. And the difficulty just builds up. So we really like that, and it's really obvious, and you get rewards. So every time you complete, you get a sticker. And then when you're done with that, you move on to level eight, and it's the same thing. You have your guidebook, you have the DVD, you have the stickers, and... So it just just goes through everything, and I'm hoping this should fix all the problems he's having um, with the words he's struggling with. He really likes this format, and it looks the stories look really cute and fun, and um, loves comics. So that's a really great format. And then um, I think this is the first book. This book is broken. It looks really cute. The art's really great, and it looks funny. Um, and this is the second one, the puppy look. Look at that, it's almost basically a chapter book. So, And then the Shoes in the Night. This looks a little easy, but maybe the words are hard. And then this is the final book. The Swish Smacker Dirt Hacker. And that one is a lot of words. So um, anyway, this looks really great. Um, so far, so good. He wants to get both levels done during Christmas break. Um, so he can get back to school in January and show his teacher, look, I can read at a second grade level and beyond. And, and he's really hoping to take off because he loves to read, but he's really struggling with something. We're not sure what it is yet. We don't think it's dyslexia. Um, but it's, I think he just needs to slow down and really focus. And 
I think he, he's missing a lot. I don't know what he's missing, but hopefully these uh, level seven and eight for Hooked on Phonics will figure out what it is and help him get through it. But he is very motivated to try this. Um, unlike this program that just really wasn't doing it for him. He just wasn't, I mean, the stories and the books were great, but the exercises and um, he just wasn't feeling like he was advancing and that he was working on specific ish, uh, problem areas. So wish us luck and I'm hoping that we can really work hard this Christmas vacation and get through all this. And um, hopefully by next year, he's reading confidently and happily and, and loving it as much as I do. Thank you for watching.